Vinyl Community, Jeff here for another contest entry. Yes, I've been watching this one go around and I've actually had my notes jotted down. Finally getting a chance today to sit down and do this. This is for JT's Record Room. He is celebrating 3,000 subscribers. Congratulations on that, JT. He shows a wide range of things. I'm sure most everybody here is familiar with him, though maybe because my genre is a little different than his, maybe uh, our crowds don't mix as much, but check him out. He has a lot of little of everything and a lot of stuff anyway simple contest um at least i thought it was i'm glad i found what i found quickly um when i gave it more thought i'm like i can't really think of where else i might go it would take a little more digging to do uh, first thing he wants is a shout out to another channel i'm shouting out the angels vinyl planet um he's been around for about a year he's done about uh less than less than 60 videos and he has uh, less than 700 subscribers. So check him out. I'll have a link below. Uh, I guess he shows a lot of different stuff. So he may appeal to a lot a cr larger crowd. Um, though he does dip quite heavily at times in the same kind of, you know, 80s type metal that I deal with. So anyway, great stuff. Check him out. Uh, and then second, he wants to see three albums with some kind of food. He mentioned fruits and vegetables and anything you could do. So... I didn't have to give it much thought because a couple came to mind immediately. And then the third one, actually, I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, so I, you know, was able to do this quickly. But then, you know, as I got to kind of really thinking about it, I'm like, I don't even know if I could think of many other ones beyond this. So this one actually came to mind because, A, it's at the very beginning. It's the first album in my collection over there. Uh, and, B, I recently played it. And that's A through Z. Um, I don't know if this is really a band as much as it is a project. I don't know. It might be a band that they released this album. It's a couple of the guys from Fate's Warning. It's got Mark Zonder in him. Um, so it's kind of a, uh, what do they describe it as? It's just, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell whether it's going to be a, a, a continuing group or not. But uh, kind of a little proggy, kind of a little mellower, not as, you know, edgier. But at times it's got some edge, so... Cool stuff, but there you go. An apple in a zebra's mouth. A through Z. Apple through zebra. Get it? Get it? Get it? Next one. Ha ha. Tongue-in-cheek fun stuff. Um, I thought of this one almost immediately. And that is the meal here on... This is Iron Maiden's Peace of Mind. <laughs> and inside there. If you can see that, they are all sitting down for a nice platter of brains. With all kinds of, uh, you know, garnishments there of fruits and stuff like that so a little fun stuff because as you can see they took eddie's brain out and they're serving it up uh and then if you well, you can't really see it as well but on the actual album the center ring is kind of a top side view of the meal if you can see that anyway just a little fun stuff i mean there's fruits and things on there but uh you know brains are a delicacy in some countries i believe so Third one hit me a little later, um, and the meal is literally bread and wine. So you're talking probably church communion here, and you got the little girl, boy, girl, uh, who is eating the crumbs off the floor. So you got bread and wine, some fruit area, for, I mean some food type stuff there. So those are the three food related albums, and then he wants to have a record we highly recommend. Now this is tough because obviously. There's so many different styles out there and, and and so many different things that I like for various reasons. But there was one, it's a fairly recent release, and I thought, you know, I could say this to anybody watching this video because unless you are just totally closed-minded to anything other than a certain style, some people, they will only listen to, like, metal. They were only, you know, but I have a pretty wide taste. So I think because, uh, and because JT's, uh, his channel has a lot, it's not hard rock and metal and there's a larger audience. So if they, if they watch this, this is probably an album that you're not familiar with, but would appeal to pretty much anybody that's looking for a lighter side. Um, and that is Divigilio, Morse, and Jennings. This is their second album. You've got Nick DiVigilio, uh, used to play drums and sing for Spock's Beard. You have Neil Morse, who used to sing for Spock's Beard, plays piano, keyboards. 
He does his own band. He's got all kinds of, you hear me talk about Neil Morse all the time. And then you got Ross Jennings, who he was mainly in Hawken. They, they're like a edgier, proggy type feel band. Great stuff. Um, and he's done some other projects too. But the three of them, this is their second album called Sophomore. And the, the three of them have gotten together. And what this is, it is described as more acoustic. It's not all acoustic. There is some stuff that have a little little percussion and stuff that feels a little less than that. But um, three guys with super layered harmonies. And it's just smooth most of the time. Um, there's you know songs that are emotional on here there's they get me emotional at least um it is just it's a a smooth album and it has some fun stuff and it's a little upbeat at times but for the most part these guys look them up they they have some videos and they are just and it's so melodic and so many they, they do sound great together with their three vocals Layered stuff, great stuff. If you're into anything beautiful, I think this album is beautiful. Their first album too, um, but you know, if you're not familiar with these three guys and any of the work they've done, check out either one of their two albums. I would highly recommend it to those people who are diverse enough to like to slow down a little bit. I even got mine came with the photo autographed by the three guys in there. Uh, anyway, cool stuff. So there you go. Check out JT's Record Room. Link below. Check out the contest. Jump on board. It ends at the end of September, and we'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.